So Apple Care is one of the more interesting products that Apple sells because it's more of a service than it is a hardware product, but it's a service you buy to protect your hardware products. Now within Apple Care itself, there's a couple of things that Apple pretty much gives you. So essentially what this is, is that within basically many Apple products, your Apple Watch, iPhone, iPad, Mac, your displays, even like the Apple TVs, you can get Apple Care for those devices simply just by going through and purchasing them when you purchase your device. And I do think you can get it up maybe like two weeks after as well, after you buy your phone or whatever, but is it worth buying? Now, personally for me, I would have bought Apple Care maybe if I didn't switch my phone every year, to be honest. But even then, all the phones that I've ever had, I've only had Apple Care on one device, which was an iPhone 7 Plus, and I didn't even buy Apple Care on it. It just came with Apple Care when I actually purchased it in the used market. Now, within Apple Care Plus, basically what they service and what they sell you, it is basically a way of protecting your device without having to go ahead and let's say your phone breaks or something like that. Well, if you have Apple Care, there's a chance Apple can go ahead and fix that iPhone or even just completely replace that iPhone literally just by going through and purchasing Apple Care. So what they tell you, at least what their pitch is, is that within different products, in this case with their iPhones, it says every iPhone comes with one year of hardware repair coverage through its limited whatever, but Apple Care Plus and basically Apple Care Plus with depth and loss protection extend that to give you way more, you know, basically serviceable things. So you get unlimited incidents of accidental damage protection, your battery service is covered, and basically if there's any things that are basically broken with your iPhone, Apple could theoretically fix it, but it's not free. Basically, if you go ahead and actually have Apple Care Plus, if your screen or back glass is damaged for your iPhone, that's $29. If you have other accidental damage, that's $99. If it's theft or loss, basically if your iPhone is completely stolen, they will go ahead and basically bring back, they're not going to bring back this one iPhone. They're going to go ahead and just give you another iPhone right after that for $149. Now, there's a couple of things here. For one, they're not going to go ahead and just, you know, they're not going to go ahead and just keep replacing your iPhone if it keeps getting stolen because then they're just going to keep losing money. So I think that's only for like a couple times or something like that. So it's not that big of a deal. It's only like a couple of times. So it's still very cool. But also to keep in mind with Apple Care, it is a little bit more pricier. So depending on which product you get, there's obviously different price tags. So with Apple Care Plus for Mac, you're basically getting it for $34.99 every month. Apple Care Plus for iPad, $3.49 a month or $69 for two years. Apple Care Plus for your iPhone is $79 for two years. And Apple Care Plus for Apple Watch is $49 for two years. Now I've owned every single one of these products and I've never had any issues or problems with these specific devices at all. And personally for me, the big reason for that was basically because of, I'm always putting my phones in screen protectors. I'm always putting my devices in some sort of case and I'm always trying to keep them in the best protection possible. I don't really lose my phones too much. And the big reason I don't really buy it is because I'm switching my devices every year and I keep them in good condition. If you're somebody though, who's prone of breaking your phones, causing problems with your devices, or if you're in an area where sometimes your devices can have some issues, well, that would probably incline me to go ahead and recommend getting Apple Care Plus for your device. And like I said, the reason for this is basically because of it's not super expensive to do. It's pretty cheap and you can actually get a pretty decent, I mean, protection for your iPhone literally from the provider and maker of these iPhones. But like I mentioned, that isn't the best thing in the world. And if you're somebody who does own some sort of iPhone or Apple product and whatever, it probably would be best, especially if you're somebody who's prone to breaking your devices to actually go ahead and essentially get Apple Care Plus. It doesn't really cost a crazy amount of money. However, if you're somebody who does switch your devices constantly and you keep them in pretty good condition, then you might as well go ahead and just, you know, you, can, you don't have to get Apple Care. Like I said, I don't get Apple Care. And so far I've been pretty good. It's been many, many years since I've been owning their products. But the choice is yours. If you're prone to breaking your phones and your know, devices, pretty much get Apple Care. But if you're not, or if you don't really lose them, or if you're in your house all the time and you don't even go out, you don't really need Apple Care to be honest. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.